Hello and welcome to Health Matters on Channels Television. Thanks for joining us. I am Mary Alale Yusuf. At the last count, Abakiliki in Ebony State had nine confirmed cases of Lassa fever. There have been four deaths in total, two doctors, a nurse and one other. It's reported that the others are responding to treatment. Public and private schools have been closed to curtail the spread. Joining me from our Abuja studio is a former lecturer and researcher at Irua Specialist Teaching Hospital, a health policy and management specialist, professor of otorhinolaryngology at the University of Abuja and its teaching hospital, as well as the first national vice president of the Nigeria Medical Association, Professor Titus Ibekwe. Thanks for joining us. Thank you very much, Mary. I am delighted to be here. And I'm delighted to have you. So we've lost some workers, yes. It's so sad, you know, that, that every time Lassa fever comes around, we lose some people. And particularly saddening that we're losing some of our health personnel. Now, NSCDC has advised them to observe universal laws of, of uh, you know, treating infectious diseases. Can you tell us so, some of these universal laws? And do they apply to the regular everyday person. Thank you very much. Um, yes, universal precaution is um, very important and um, it is all about um, the basic health and uh, preventive practices that is expected of every health personnel um, within the hospital setting be it primary, secondary, or tertiary care, level of care. Um, this is necessary so that um, the health personnel will be able to uh, pre, um, you know, protect themselves from harm and also protect even the patients that they are caring for from uh, transmitting one infection to the other. This basic thing stems from when the patient is coming within the hospital um, even how the patient is received through the gate of the hospital setting and um, ushered to where eventually health care treatment will be procured. Um, within the place of practice, it is expected that uh, personal and interpersonal hygiene should be at its highest ebb. This is necessary to ensure that transmissible diseases are contained. Um, the uh, attending medical personnel are expected to wear their gloves um, when they are examining their patients, disposable gloves, to protect them uh, from such illnesses that can easily be transmitted through this mode. And also to wear their face mask because certain illnesses are transmitted via aerosol uh, you can just um, inhale this within an environment or within the confine of your health care um, setting. So you wear your glove, you put on your face mask and um, proceed to um, examine your patient and deliver necessary care. All the instruments that are used, all the invasive um, Disposables like needles and uh, syringes has to be all well disposed um, according to this best of practices. There is a special container that is provided for um, the pricks and the sharps where they can be well um, disposed of. And at the end of the treatment of the patient, the examination, management and all that is necessary, the health personnel is also expected to carefully dispose of all the items used, including the face mask, the gloves, and when necessary, when you have high index of suspicion of cases, you also have to wear protective gown in such instances, but at least the basic Professor. ones which has to do with Professor, the ones let me mentioned earlier. Let, let me quickly cut um, in there. You, you have been telling us about the uh, precautionary measures, but people have come to believe that when Lassa fever hits, people have to die. We've lost one person in Nasarawa State just recently, and we want to know, is it possible to, to 
arrange the hospital system in such a way that we don't lose anybody. Can we have a free year, a year or two without Lassa fever? Is it possible? Are we missing something? Thank you. It is possible, but um, it has to be within a very uh, organized setting and there has to be a well-articulated set goal um, by the government and the entire populace in order to do this and even it is possible to completely eliminate this uh, disease within our setting. So what we have just described is what I can call um, um, management at primary level which also involves um, good health education across the populace and making sure that people are well educated on um, the mode of transmission of this illness and let them know what they expect um, to in index cases